Yo, what is up, World Meta Beefs here? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It is so good to see you guys. This week, we are talking about aspect ratios. And what I mean by aspect ratios, I mean these two black bars here. So if you are unfamiliar with aspect ratios and what an aspect ratio is, or even what it does, or even what it says in a movie or a video, we're gonna be talking about two of my favorite aspect ratios. So before we get into that, go ahead and roll that intro, and I'll see you guys soon. So it's gone. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about aspect ratios. And again, if you do not know what aspect ratio is or what the black bars are in a movie, they're exactly that. They are the black bars that are above and below, or maybe even on the side, in certain movies, TV shows, music videos, and all other videos as well. Now, I remember way back in the day, back when I was younger, the aspect ratio four by three, or these black boxes that you see here, that was the standard broadcasting aspect ratio. And if you look back at older TVs, they were all in little boxes. So that is why four by three or letterbox was used back in the day. And if you look at older videos or footage or movies or TV shows, you'll see that they're in a square. Now, fast forward to the early or mid 2000s, the aspect ratio of 16 by nine, these bars right here that you see below and above me became popular. And now that was the new broadcasting aspect ratio. It's a mouthful. But anywho, like I was saying, I wanna talk about two of my favorite aspect ratios, which I have been using in some of my recent short films. I'd like to show you some examples of what they look like, what they feel like, and what it could possibly mean in a movie or a short film. Now, I remember a time when I first started making short films and videos, I did not use these aspect ratios. It wasn't until I met a friend who told me to add some black bars in your videos or in your footage to make it feel cinematic. Right? So we've all maybe seen or heard that adding black bars makes your footage look that much more cinematic, if that's the approach that you're going for. Now, when I was first told about these black bars, there was really no explanation as to why it made your footage or your videos feel more cinematic. I was just told having these aspect ratios meant that your video was way more cinematic than not having any of these black bars. Right now, what I wanna to do today is talk to you guys about what these black bars, what these different aspect ratios mean in some of your films or the movies or the music videos that you're watching today. So two of my favorite aspect ratios are the one to 1.85 and also the one to two, three, five aspect ratio. Now these aspect ratios are a huge thing in the film and cinema world. You may not know exactly what these aspect ratios mean or what they can do to help tell your story. So let's start off first with the aspect ratio one to 1.85. Now, if we take a look at this short film that I use, this aspect ratio, you'll see that the frame is a lot taller, meaning there's more real estate vertically. It's gonna feel a certain way. So let's take a look at this close up here that I have for you guys. And just ask yourself, looking at this frame, does it feel taller? Does it feel narrow? Or do you even notice the black bars that are there? Now, if you notice these black bars are a lot thinner than other aspect ratios or other black bars, that is for a reason. And the reason why a lot of people gravitate and myself gravitate towards the aspect ratio of one to 185 is because we have a taller or a more vertical frame than other aspect ratios. Now, what could that mean having a taller, more vertical image than a longer or more horizontal image? That means that you can get closer to your subjects. It means that your subjects feel a little bit more human and you're able to capture more of your actor or your actress's face. So that is the reason why I use the 12185. If I know that I'm gonna be filming a lot of close-ups, I'll gravitate towards that one to 185 aspect ratio. Now, aside from getting closer to your subjects when filming in the one to 185 aspect ratio, as a camera operator, when you're operating and filming in this aspect ratio, it allows you to move around a lot more freely without having the worry to cut off any character's faces or any locations top to bottom. It just allows you to think and move differently. And also when I'm filming one to one eight five and I'm operating, I don't have the anxiety or the worry to get my framing done right because I have a lot more room vertically up and down. So like I said, I can come in closer or if I wanted to back up for a wide shot, I'm able to get a lot more things or objects into the frame than what I would with a smaller aspect ratio. So as an operator, I really enjoy filming in the one, two, one, eight, five. Just gives me a lot more space vertically up and down, up and down. Yeah. 
All right, so let's take a look at the second aspect ratio, which I absolutely love and I have used and plan to use in many other short films. One to two thirty five is one of my favorite aspect ratios. The black bars in this aspect ratio are a little bit bigger than the one to one eight five, which means you have a lot more room horizontally in your frame. Now, I remember when this was a new and popular thing to have in movies. I remember popping in the DVDs when I was younger and wondering why in the world are there these huge black bars that are blocking some of the image. And we actually, we being my family and whoever else was watching the movie, we would punch in into the picture because the black bars were so distracting to me. I thought they were ugly and I really did not like it because we had this big TV, but only like this much of the TV was being used. So let's talk about the one to two, three, five aspect ratio and why I like it. Let's take a look at one of the short films that I filmed in this aspect ratio. All right, so as you can see, we have a single close up right here on our actress. And as you can tell, there is way more room vertically right and left. So if we look around and see the frame and kind of search for what's in the background, this aspect ratio is a lot nicer for that. You're able to see what's in the background as well, who is our main subject and focus. So that is one of my favorite reasons why I love this one to two, three, five aspect ratio. The wideness of the frame is something that complements the location that you're in. So using this aspect ratio based off your location is gonna help sell that location, is gonna help show a lot more corners, walls, or whatever it is that's in the frame. Now, as far as what does this aspect ratio mean when it comes to story, again, like I was saying, if you want to show a lot more in the frame horizontally if you're shooting anything like landscapes for example this is a great aspect ratio to use because it highlights everything as wide as your lens can show which means you can help sell a location also if you're going to shoot a two shot this is a great aspect ratio to use because it's so wide you can share the frame with two of your characters really nicely you don't have to worry too much about being crammed because there's so much space vertically now this is one of the trickier aspect ratios for me at least to operate in when i'm operating my camera and i'm shooting in this one to two three five i always have to be aware of my frame being so thin so that is something to consider when filming in this aspect ratio as well all right so that is a quick look into my two favorite aspect ratios and why i use them and also how i use them to help tell a story so remember, the next time you watch a movie, a short film, or a music video, take a second to notice the black bars that are above and below your frame and ask yourself, why do you think the filmmakers are using a certain aspect ratio over the others? Now, a quick way to get that cinematic look is to use these black bars. Yes, of course, I think we all know that as filmmakers, but I hope this video has given you a little bit more clarity as to why filmmakers use one to one eight five versus one to two three five and all the other aspect ratios that are out there. They all help tell a story. If you think of them as picture frames, every picture frame is different than the other and they all help to tell the story of that picture or of that movie. All right, so the next time you talk about aspect ratios, think about what each aspect ratio means and why it's gonna help tell your story better than the rest. And also now you have a lot more knowledge than I did when I first used these black bars. This is something that I am continuously doing research on. I love to learn more and more about aspect ratios because they are like picture frames. They all help and tell a story or a frame different than the others. So I know this week was a short one and I did not vlog at all, but I hope you did take something from this video. Maybe you have a better understanding of aspect ratios and why filmmakers choose to use certain aspect ratios. And also before we go, let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite aspect ratio? Or maybe you hate aspect ratios, or maybe you learned something new from this video. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it, talk about it. All right, so if you enjoyed this week's video, you know what to do, go ahead and do a super jump on that like button down below and also get subscribed to the YouTube channel because every Wednesday is a brand new vlog. Again, I'm Matty Beebs, the cinematographer, and I'll see you guys in seven days. Peace.